Hello. This review video is going to be on the phenomenon of auto shaping. Now in auto shaping, the organism will shape its own behavior towards the behavior that the researchers are looking for in a learning experiment. So the behaviorists were familiar with this phenomenon, but it's not really until later you get psychologists that are more evolutionarily orientated to think about why is the organism doing this that, that makes full sense. So once again, in chapter 15, Evolutionary Approaches to Learning, we focus on the fact that organisms have these um, instincts, species-specific behaviors, biological predispositions to behave in particular ways, to engage in certain behaviors um, more often than other behaviors because they've been biologically designed to do so. That is what's going on in the phenomenon of auto-shaping. Now usually in a learning experiment, way back in the operant conditioning chapter, we mentioned that if you're going to, you know, train a rat to press a lever for food, you first have to shape that animal's behavior, right? Shape its behavior. You have to watch it and successively reinforce, successively reinforce behaviors get, that get, get, that get closer and closer to the behavior you want. Yes, I'm stammering today. Uh, well, in auto-shaping, the organism does that itself. For instance, you put a pigeon in a cage, oh, operant chamber, and um, basically that pigeon has many behaviors it can engage in when it's in this, you know, operant chamber slash cage. What behaviors are it going to get, is it going to engage in? It's going to engage in those behaviors from its biology, from its instincts, right? It's going to instinctively engage in those type of behaviors more often than other types of behaviors. So it's engaging in those instinctual behaviors of pecking and that sort of stuff. And so it's in there. It's more likely to be pecking than anything else. It does that more often because it's instinctual behavior while other behaviors are not instinctual behaviors. So it's just more often than not engaging in these instinctual behaviors and more often than, and so because of that, it's more likely to be doing that behavior when reinforcement comes. So it turns out to be pecking the disc when the food comes and voila! The pigeon has shaped its own behavior into the behavior that you were hoping it would engage in in that learning situation as the experimenter. And all of this is happening if you're an old school behaviorist of, what, 60, 50 years ago. Wow, this experiment's going really well. But you don't realize you're studying instinctual behavior. So anyway, that's a little bit on auto-shaping. Hope that helps.